And for those who aren't familiar with this story, just tell us what the idea behind these buffer zones is. Well, look, it came to my attention because I have a clinic in Ealing in my seat. And even before I was the MP, I think it's for 23 years now, there's been a standing protest uh, by people. It's got um, more and more sort of sinister and intimidatory people that have dolls of fetuses, uh, weird pictures of um, babies in different states, and they patrol the clinic. They've been outside for years and years, sort of impeding the progress of women who need to have what is a medical procedure done. Uh, even the staff who work there were unable to get in there because, um, you know, their access was blocked. So, I mean, I started asking about this in Parliament. Ealing Council went down a local authority bylaw route as well. And actually, we've had um, some success in Ealing that now those people have moved away from the gates of the clinic so women can get in there. It's a distressing, as the, I have the statement here, as the Home Office themselves say, it's a difficult and distressing process as it is without these protesters in women's faces when they just want to access legal uh, health care. But I mean, now the, the government opened up a review last November, ages ago, under Amber Rudd, the previous Home Secretary, to look into sort of having a national solution um, and rather disappointingly, although they acknowledge that there are problems there, this is a thing, um, it's going to be no change from what they're saying, which is a disappointment well, I mean, I to me. I asked a question on it in the House of Commons this morning to the Women and Equalities Minister, and, and she seemed sympathetic from what I can gather. I mean, what they seem to be saying in their conclusion is that the numbers are not sufficient. But, I mean, I think any intimidation of women is a bad thing. Um, so, I mean, I'm going to be getting a meeting with her, um, Yvette Cooper, the chair of the Home Affairs Select Committee. They also did a report recommending these. I mean, I think if you just shove the burden onto local authorities, they're cash strapped as it is. It's not going to be top of their priorities. But women every day are suffering. They're having to run a gauntlet, a barrage of abuse just to have their NHS procedure done. Rupa Huck MP, thank you very much for joining us.